Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I um, did a lip haul um, about a week or two ago for these little bad boys, the um, J-Cat Beauty um, Wonder Lip Paints. I got them at my local beauty supply store for $2.99, but um, if you go to the website, they sell them for $4.99 a piece. So if you uh, have a local beauty supply store or anywhere that sells J-Cat Beauty, I would go there first to try and find the colors because there that is a $2 difference um, that you're going to be paying and also shipping and handling. So these have um, been compared to OCC Lip Tars. I uh, used to own some OCC Lip Tars and I lost my bag of makeup on the train one day and um, that was kind of annoying but um, you know it was nothing limited edition thank god so I was able to replace everything I just haven't gotten to replacing the OCC lip tars. So um, the packaging is the same, the amount of product you get is the same, the smell is the same, the, high, the um, pigmentation in these are both crazy you just need the tiniest amount of product the only difference that I noticed was that um, the finish is different. These dry to a uh, creamy, shiny consistency, and the lip tars are a semi-matte, um, um, semi-matte what it, sheen or a finish. Uh, when it dries and they can be uh, drying on the lips. These I did not find to be drying at all. Uh, they actually were pretty moisturizing. They're not going to replace um, a daily lip um, treatment product, but um, these do, uh, you know, do well for like if I forgot my gloss, um, I mean my chapstick for the day and only had these, I would be fine. I would survive. Um, there are 18 colors in the collection, and I will, uh, do lip swatches of all of them for you, and I just wanted to show you guys these two little cute Hello Kitty things that I got, um, in the store. Um, I got this at Walgreens, it's a Hello Kitty fragrance, and it smells so good. It's a fruity kind of candy scent and it just reminds me of Hello Kitty. It's bubblegummy and fruity and candy smelling and I bet this is what Hello Kitty smells like. And um, if you guys didn't know, I have a uh, sleeve in progress of Hello Kitties, so um, I love Hello Kitty that much that I have put her on my body in ink. And also I got um, from my phone this really cute Hello Kitty phone case for my uh, Galaxy. Uh, I love Hello Kitty. She is so cute. I don't care that I'm 33 years old and I have Hello Kitty perfume and phone case and tattoos. I love Hello Kitty. I love kitties in general. I got two of them lounging behind me. So um... I would advise when applying the um, lip paints that I would use a clear lip um, lip liner. This one's from Milani. I got it from the drugstore. And I would also use a lip brush. Um, these are very pigmented and kind of creamy, so um, applying them with your fingers, I really wouldn't advise it because you're not going to get a precise... Um, application on your lips. This is my um, Benefit um, lip uh, brush number 12. I don't know if they make this anymore, but I got this from Benefit a few years ago um, from Sephora. It's a really good brush. It has a nice um, precise point and tip point and tip. Same thing, it has a nice precise point on it and it's really good for um, defining the lips. So I'm going to start out with the nudie colors, then move on to the um, bright colors and then put the dark colors in. The colors don't really stain like the OCC lip tars. Um, I mean, the 
these two colors, um, Queen of Hearts and uh, Red Potion, these two dark colors do stain. Red Potion is a really dark, like, blood red color, and then Queen of Hearts is a really dark burgundy color. Um, unlike, also, unlike uh, oh, the OCC lip tars, these do not come with a black and white and a clear to mix colors, but you can use a, um, the clear from OCC lip tar or a MAC lip gloss to use that if you kind of want to, um, tone down the intensity, and you can use the black and white, um, colors from OCC lip tar to mix colors from these. You can also use these to mix colors if you want to. Um, the gold is good for mixing colors. I, um, mixed the gold with Queen of Hearts and it looks so pretty and it um, tones down that really deep intense burgundy color which um, some people might be afraid of. I love these dark vampy colors so um, I was really excited to especially see these two puppies. But let's get on with the um, swatches. The uh, first color that I'm going to apply for you is 108 Looking Glass. This is what it looks like, and I'll be right back with it applied. Okay, so this is what Looking Glass looks like on me. I'm not a big fan of it by itself. It gives me kind of that corpse look on my lips, but it is a nice color, and you can see it's very, very pigmented. And I also did a swatch on my hand. I don't know if the light is too bright, if you guys can see that or not, but that's the swatch of it. I can see that the sheen of it's coming off, but um, yeah, this is what Looking Glass looks like. The next color up is 106 Mimsy. Okay, so this is what the color Mimsy looks like. Uh, I like this color a lot better. It's a uh, My Lips But Better nude color. This is a really pretty nude on me. I'm not usually a big fan of nude colors, but I really like this one. I like the sheen on it. I like the gloss. I like the glossiness. Well, I guess sheen and glossiness are the same thing, but I love the pigmentation of it. Uh, these are great lip products. So this is the color Mimsy. The next color up is um, 114 Curioser, Curioser, um, I'm horrible at um, some of these names, um, they're all based on Alice in Wonderland, and uh, some of the names are a little hard to pronounce, I find, but it's a uh, Carouser, Curious, um, yeah, color 114. Um, let me try this on for you guys now. So this is what 114 looks like on the lips. Another very pretty nude color. Um, up next, the next color in the collection I have for you guys is 110 Orange Delight. So this is what Orange Delight looks like in the packaging. It's looking very um, different on camera than uh, what it looks like in real life. Okay, so um, I'm going to try this again. This is, okay, now you can see the swatch is a little better. This is a swatch of Orange Delight, and this is what it looks like on the lips. The next color up. The uh, next color I have is number uh, 107 Underland, and this is what Underland looks like. Okay, so um, this is the swatch of Underland, um, doesn't really look like it's showing up, but and this is what it looks like on the lips. Next color up is Much Mucher. So this is what Much Mucher looks like. Okay, so here is the swatch of Much Mucher, and here's what it looks like on the lips. The next 
next color up is color um, 112 Blabberwocky. And this is what Blabberwocky looks like. All right, so the swatch of Blabberwocky and what it looks like applied to the lips. The next color up is, um, we're going to start getting into some funky shades now and uh, some darker shades. The next color up is this really, really metallic gold shade, and it is called Duchess with Muchness. So the uh, swatch of Duchess with Muchness. And what it looks like on my lips. Okay, sorry, I thought I hit a button that I wasn't supposed to. Um, the next color up is number 118 Wonderland. And that's what Wonderland looks like. Okay, so here is the swatcheroo of Wonderland and what it looks like on the lips. Okay, so the um, next color that I have in the Wonder Lips is this uh, bright mint green color, and I am totally going to butcher um, trying to say the name, so I'm just going to spell it out for you guys. The color is number 116, P-I-S-H-S-L-A-V-E-R. That's the um, how it's spelled, I'm not going to pronounce how it try how to pronounce it because I am going to just completely butcher it, but I will try it on and swatch it on my hand for you. So this is what it looks like swatched out on my hand, and this is what it looks like on the lips. Okay, um, I my uh, brush, the ferrule um, just came loose on it, so I had to switch to my uh, real techniques. Techniques, my real techniques. Um, this is the um, detailer brush, and it's really good for applying lipsticks and glosses and lip products. So the next color we have is number 115, Chest Desire Cat. And this is what it looks like in the bottle. And now I will apply it. Okay, so this is the swatch of it. And this is the lip swatch of it. The next color up is color number 103, Always Late Rabbit. Okay, so this is the swatch of Always Late Rabbit, and the lip swatch of Always Late Rabbit. I've only got six more colors to go, guys. I know that's a lot. There's a lot of colors that I got of this. I got every single color in the line, and there were 18 colors, so we're plowing our way through them. So the next color up is, okay, number 101, Caterpillar Smoke. Okay, I want you guys to know something. On the packaging, number 101 and number 102 are both labeled Caterpillar Smoke. The one that is really named Caterpillar Smoke is 101, so this color. This is Caterpillar Smoke. The color number 102 is mislabeled, and I was watching other people's um, videos on YouTube of their reviews of these, and apparently I wasn't the only one who got um, a mislabeled um, 
color. So I went online to check what the um, name of this is, and it's, um, hold on one second, I gotta get the paper. Okay, so this, uh, this red color, it's not Caterpillar Smoke, number 102. Number 102 is called Second Impossible Thing. So this is actually Second Impossible Thing, not Caterpillar Smoke. And number 101 is the real Caterpillar Smoke. So um, if you guys see that um, in the store and just get confused why there are two Caterpillar Smokes, there really shouldn't be. The, there, was a, uh, mis there was a problem with the packaging and um, I looked up the real name for you guys. So that red color is called Second Impossible Thing and I will be trying on the real Caterpillar Smoke. Okay guys, this is the swatch of Caterpillar Smoke, <clears throat> and this is what the lip swatch looks like. Okay, the next color up is what is, sorry, my hand got in front of the uh, camera there. Um, the next color is number 102, not Caterpillar Smoke, second impossible thing. Okay guys, this is the swatch of it, and I did on the swatch, I just wanted to show you, this is um, really sheer, that you can sheer it out really, um, and not wear it like full opacity like I am on the lips, but even as you see, sheer it is full opaqueness so um if you don't want the intense glossiness of it you can definitely sheer it down but you're still going to get the um opaqueness of it just um like i have on the lips so this is what it looks like with full opacity And then the hand swatch is what it looks like, what it would be like sheared out. So these are, you know, very versatile also, another good thing about them. Uh, the next color we have is uh, number 402 Heart Adocious. So that's what Heart Adocious looks like. Alright, so this is the hand swatch of Hardidocious and the lip swatch. Okay, we're almost almost at the end guys. We've got three more colors. The next color is 113 Mad Splatter. And this is what Mad Splatter looks like. Okay guys, this color right here is Mad Splatter. This is the hand swatch of it. And the lip swatch. Okay guys, we are getting down to the final two. And these are the darkest colors, but um... From, uh, I want to say like the last, since Caterpillar Smoke, those colors will um, leave a light stain on your lips, so um, when you're um, taking it off, just be prepared for that. It's nothing crazy where it's going to last days and days and days on your lips, but um, it can leave a slight stain on your lips. And um, you can I don't know if you guys can tell, but around my f lips area, it is starting to stain from me changing uh, lip products constantly. And... Um, the last few colors have been dark colors, so that it is starting to leave a slight stain on the lips from removing them, but it's nothing crazy. My, uh, I just put a little um, makeup remover on my baby wipe instead of just using the baby wipe to uh, remove the product. So I will um, now try on number um, 111, Red Potion. So this is Red Potion. I'll be right back with this lip swatch. Okay, guys, so this is the swatch of Red Potion on my hands. 
and then this is it on my lips. And that's my cat crying in the background. <laughs> Alright, we've got one more color up, and this is the darkest color that they have, and this is number um, 109, Queen of Hearts. So this is what Queen of Hearts looks like. Okay guys, this bottom one here is the swatch of Queen of Hearts, and this is what it looks like on the lips. Very, very vampy dark color. I love it. This is one of my favorites. So as you can see, these are super highly pigmented, very glossy, very shiny. Um, they're almost an exact dupe for the OCC Lip Tars. They're very affordable and um, I really like them. So I would say go out and get them, order them online. Um, Preferably, I would get them from your beauty supply store because they usually are $2.99 versus $4.99 plus shipping and handling that you're going to have to pay um, on the JCAT Beauty website. So, um, yeah, these are great products. I give them a thumbs up. I um, think that they're affordable. They're... Um, <sighs> Sorry, brain fart there. They're affordable, they're great colors, they're fun for summer and for fall. These colors can, you know, you have um, a bunch of light colors and bright colors that you can wear in the summertime. Then you have really dark vampy colors that can transition you into fall and winter. And you can also mix and make your own colors um, using the gold, um, or if you want, um, you can use the black and white um, lip tars from OCC and use those to um, mix colors. So uh, I would go out and get these if you see them. And thank you for watching. I will have another review up soon for you guys. And uh, I love you all so much. Please subscribe. Uh, rate or comment down below. I always respond to comments and um, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Speak to you guys soon. Mwah.